Hello everyone, Hazelboid here, and welcome to part 5 of Cosmeteer, the Mine Lane Challenge. It's like Minesweeper, except they are the ones that get hit by the numbers. Alright, so let's begin. Alright, so... Last time, we take in out this first area within this larger area. Still got quite a bit to go, but, you know, we're making pretty decent progress. So let us continue. Again, professional, so nothing too scary to worry about. Unfortunately, we kind of got stuck monkey in the middle style. Um, so... Yeah, I guess, I guess my option would be just to head in that general direction and just keep an eye on where everyone else is heading. Oops. Okay, that one's moving down. That one's moving left. These two are moving left. And then this one also moving left. Hmm. We're all moving left together. Why is no one... Oh. Uh... Right, okay. Gotta fix that. Right. Any more doors that I'm missing? No, doesn't look like it. Yeah. Also, I guess I should also note that uh, my battery storages are currently pretty low, so I probably, before engaging the enemy, should give the crew some time to recharge and rearm. I think that would be mm, kind of nice. Yeah, we are really slow right now. Uh, they're following us. Hmm. The good news is having the raptor right here means crew can easily just shuttle batteries left and right. So, that's not a huge issue. And now crew are manning the stations. Oh, wait. Hang on. Why are there doors there? I don't need doors there. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't need doors there either. Uh, the thing about the engine rooms is they're the only facility in the game where energy can be teleported from the room to the engine. So you don't actually need doors to the rooms, which is an interesting mechanic. I'm not entirely sure why, but I guess it's just to make the engine rooms more powerful, to make them more useful, I guess. It's not, like, the added boost in terms of, like, power to the engines also is nice. Like, I will say efficiency, but the engines become more powerful when there's an engine room around, albeit that also comes at a cost. I believe it burns energy quicker as well. Ah, we've got company. It is a sumo. This is a fairly straightforward target. And a falling star. I think I've fought this one before. Yeah. Uh, so these two aren't easy targets. I can... Basically ignore them. If I fight them now, I'll just run backwards into them. So, again, I'm just going to continue on my merry way left and try to skirt around them. And since I know what they are, um, I think I'm actually going to... Yeah, I'm going to skirt around the left of them and then attack them. So yeah, that's the plan right now. 
Uh, interesting enough, because these two vessels are in formation, that means they turn around a lot slower because they have to kind of swing around, which means they're a little bit easier to just keep track of. Uh, it's not too much because these are small maneuverable ships, but if it was, let's say, a really big paired up with a really tiny ship, yeah, you can sometimes find them doing weird behaviors, uh, particularly if one of the two is heavily damaged and can't maneuver very well, or maneuver at all. Uh, if one becomes dead in the water, its friend just sort of sticks by it until, well, for the rest of time, essentially. Alright, I think, yeah, I think I'm good here. Alright, so, um... I guess I'll start attacking you just because you're the closer of the two. And... Yeah. Uh... <laughs> two small ships. This should be relatively easy. Uh, how... How's my ship doing on... Okay, the battery banks are loaded. Cool. Alright. Unfortunately, they are maneuvering, making it harder for me to keep up with them. Regardless, this is still a fine attack angle. The other ship I'm worried about is way out here, so... Not a concern. I think they've noticed. Alright. Time to give them our welcoming package. Mines out. Unfortunately, the red mines on this red background is a little bit difficult to see. Like, So, I do apologize. Okay, you are the much faster of the two ships, so I'm going to take you more seriously. Well, that did a number, and that took out their um, ammunition factory, so that means this has six rounds in it. And against my shields, that should not actually pose much of a threat. Still, I would rather stay at a distance um I am outpacing them well that did it but hey huh. alright so moving on to this target next so that's one of the two down now time to take care of falling star Ooh, that's, that left a mark. Ah, good, they have noticed. There we are. Hmm, looks like they're gonna swing wide of this salvo of mines. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Although the missile looks like it took out their main gun, so... Are they...? No, they have a laser blaster. But a laser blaster is not really a big threat. Uh, and it's on fire. Screw it. I'm gonna risk it. Uh, I'm just for the sake of getting the job done quickly. I'm just going to maneuver in for the kill. My my ship has a shield, so nothing to really worry about there. And yeah, this one tiny little laser gun, I'm not going to do anything. Shots out. And my shields took the hit, like a champ. Uh. 
unfortunately their um, point defense is doing a decent job of getting rid of my um, missiles. Hey, a mine bounce off of it. Uh, another mine. There we go. That took a lot of framework out. Well, that's annoying. They're hitting the area that I don't have a shield in. Okay, their uh, laser blaster is gone. And then this'll probably, yeah, that'll be death. Sweet, sweet death. All right, let's not waste any time. Next. All right, so 200 credits to repair. Yeah, that's basically nothing. All right, so let's get another upgrade. What shall I get this time around? Uh, I think I'll get yet another launcher. That one will go there. Yeah. And then... Uh, can I... Let's see... Oh wait. Oh wait, no, sorry. Uh, that actually goes there. And then, uh, add some armor. Perfect. And you know what, while I'm here, let's actually do the same on the other side. Just like so. Bingo. And actually, let's finish adding the armor. Sorry, I'm a little indecisive right now, but yeah. Uh, there should be armor there, there. Um... Hmm. Okay, something doesn't quite line up. Let's see. Oh, I see. Sorry. Uh, right. This should actually be right there. Gotcha. Right, okay. That makes more sense now. Right, okay. I was wondering why it wasn't lining up. And so, this goes there, and that goes there. And then this goes here. Right. Just for now, I'm going to do some dummy hallways. There we go. And there we have it. All right. So who's next? No, really, who is next? Come on, show yourself. Reveal yourself. Drum roll, please. It is 
A Calamity. All right. A Calamity. Well, more ion beam emitters and a whole bunch of uh, electro bolts. And just a one core at the center in front of the driver's seat. So simple enough. I don't really think there's too much to talk about this ship. It's a pretty basic and straightforward ship that I should be able to deal with just fine. And, oh, almost forgot. I need to switch that out to the other launcher type and set it to automatic. Well, it's going to boost at me, which, you know, might be a little bit worrying, except it's only got the one engine, and even if it does get close, it's got... I got shields. Uh, thankfully, the electro bolts are relatively short range, so... Yeah. Ooh! <laughs> wow! Wow! Blink and you miss it, folks. That was one hit, one kill. Damn! Like... Whew. That was... Brutal! Like, wow! Alright, um... Right, moving on then. This sector's going pretty easy. Uh, I'm gonna hold fire for the moment. Let them reload a bit. But yeah, so far, so good. Hey, fellas. Um, right, and since I have the money to spare, I'm gonna get myself my fourth and final launcher right here. Uh, and I still have 18... Yeah, I still have 18,000 credits left, so... Let's see, um... Hmm... Yeah, let's add you. You are of a high-ish priority. That's another 5,000 credits, and then... Uh, how much were the, um, 25? So I can't quite afford that just yet. But what about, um, ah, nice, only 6,000 each. So I think I can afford to do this, 16, yes, which means... Bada beam, bada boom. That means my mine lane ornament is now complete. Took a little while to get here, but now my vessel is basically fully operational in terms of mine lane capabilities. I have two mine lane factory or two mine factories being supported by two or rather, yeah, two um, ammunition factories each, and they're all configured, so this is getting a plus 75 bonus to speed. Oh, uh, this needs to be reconfigured, like so. And, yeah. Oh, uh, I need to add some more crew. Right. In order to keep everything flowing. Ah. Can't 
can't quite afford the crew. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, uh, that will be my next priority, is to add more crew, along with adding another reactor. Because, as you can see, this poor reactor here is pretty much drained. Like, all the crew is rushing over trying to take everything from it, so... Yeah, a bit unfortunate. Uh, let's hold fire for right now. Until we get the crew and the reactor up and going, then... Yeah, until we get that happening, we'll just hold off on that. Yeah, we can see a whole pileup of crew here, just patiently waiting for the reactor to charge itself. Alright, so, right, we are approaching our next target, so what do we have this time around? An Ion Frigate. Okay, uh, actually quite a small vessel, all things considered, for this sector. That's not, that's on the smaller side, although I guess I should be wary of its engines, but even still, eh. Whatever. Cares I do not give. No, it's not turning to face us. Not yet. It's just turning around. Right. Um, although, in addition to a reactor and crew, I think something else I should invest in is better engines. Because I just suddenly added a whole heap of mass to my vessel. And that is going to slow me down a lot. And again, the engines are very important. So we'll see how... How... Um, what's the word? I don't know what the word is. And no, it's not the bird. Uh, but yeah, now check this out. We are launching eight mines at a time. That is quite the spread. With every volley. So, yeah. Uh, have fun flying through this, bad guys. <laughs> Enjoy my eight mines. Okay, yeah, they have caught up to me, which unfortunate but that's why I have the shields and uh, good luck flying through this have fun yeah yeah didn't think so yeah they just got absolutely obliterated all right so right um yeah, let's add two more sets of crew and make it so. And yeah, I think the next significant upgrade will be another reactor. But for now, let us go after these guys. So what are you? All right, we have a uh, Locust. Uh, Locust is an interesting ship because it's the smallest slash cheapest ship in the game that features an ion beam emitter, which I think that's really interesting. And then we have a Slicer. The, I believe a Slicer, aside from the Model S, is also the cheapest ship in the game that has uh, shield generator. So, T 
two interesting ships in terms of being small and cheap. But, yeah, as we've seen, this ship can take them out no problem. Easy peasy. Alright, so, right, they've noticed me, nice. Alright, time to deploy the rather large payload. Boom. Get a taste of these suckers. Ah, the locust is being a thorn in my face. Well, not for very much longer. Come at thee. I promise you will regret it. Well, there goes... There goes the entire ship. Simple and easy. Now, move on to the next target. Oh, don't, don't be like that. Don't run away. We were just beginning to have fun with you. Come on, come on, hit the mine, hit the mine, yeah! Whoosh! Just completely missed. Uh, well, there's this one as well. Trigger the mine, trigger the mine, trigger the mine. And no, too far. Oh, no, it did trigger. Uh, you lucky bugger. <laughs> and it's flying way faster than I can fly after it. Which is another minor annoyance. Ah well. It really is flying faster. It flew outside my vision range. Alright. Now we gotcha. Alright, come at thee. And yes, I realize I did not turn off my mine launchers, but frankly, I don't care. Uh, I'm I'm dumping so many out into space right now that, you know, they're gonna fly through some of it eventually, sooner than later. Like that. And there goes the shield generator. Which, actually, inconveniently for it, is very far away from its reactor, meaning it has a very slow recharge time. So once its shields go down, they stay down for a while. Oh, did I... Shoot, I think I took down... Yep. Well, that's mildly annoying. Well, I... I'm brave. I think I can survive their uh, weapon systems, so I'm just going to move in for the kill. Yeah, actually one nice thing is their electro bolt, or not electro bolt, uh, ion beam emitter. Unlike most other weapons in the game, it only fires directly forwards. It it cannot pivot on its own. It can only fire in a straight line, and so the entire ship has to maneuver for the beam to aim. Uh, you can remedy this by using uh, redirection crystals. Um, you've definitely seen a few of them on previous ships we fought, but I haven't really pointed them out because they weren't... I don't know, they're... They're not really that important for what we're doing right now, but yeah. So, seeing as they're pointing in this direction, they can't even fire at me if they want to. And yeah, I'm just right up in their face. Now, something something to note. Uh, 
I have to maintain a bit of a distance here. I can't just get really close for two reasons. One, when the mines are launched, they are in the unarmed state. And if they collide with the enemy vessel directly in this state, they just shatter, uh, similar to how they shatter against my ship, and they do zero damage. Uh, the other thing is, even if they deploy and become armed like this one, and they explode, like I said, the shrapnel can hurt me just as much as they hurt them. But ideally, I want to be at just the right distance where they deploy as soon as they get to their target. Like so. Alright, uh, seeing as this was a fairly quick and easy sector, I'm wondering if I can squeeze two sectors into this one part. Let's try it. Alright, before I begin, uh, I'm just curious, so before I move on to the next sector, I want to do a quick test. What is the bottleneck on my ship? Okay, clearly I'm not able to fire all my mines at full speed, perpetually. Looks like... Looks like it's a number of crew. Some crew have to get off the wrong stations. I guess the other issue is batteries have to have a very long travel time. Hmm. Alright, so... Slightly counterintuitively. If I, I think if I sell a bed or two. Ah. Okay, that brings me up to 30,000. Now I have less crew, but now it also means I can afford another reactor. And right there. And you know what, I th actually, I think I can rehire the crew. Oh sweet, okay, turns out I had enough. For some reason I thought the reactor was 30,000, not 25. Alright, cool. Uh, and that should mean that if we speed time back up again, Uh, I'm gonna hold fire for a second, let them all reload. Alright, uh, if you haven't guessed, the little white bar below the green health bar is their loaded state, i.e. when they're ready to fire. And so if Yeah, if I set them all to continuously fire, can the crew keep up with it? Answer is, looks like the answer is yes. Uh, my crew can keep up, barely, but yeah. And in fact, uh, some crew is putting batteries in there, meaning that I have some extra time and uh, energy. And yeah, I saw there's a crew member meandering, meaning he doesn't have a job to do. Perfect, 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 perfect. That means we are good to go. And it also means that I no longer have to fiddle around with turning my mine launchers on or off. I can just litter space with it, like this. So yeah. All right, so let's move on. And I got a bunch of FTL fuel, so uh, what is my FTL efficiency? 100%. Yeah. All right, so let us move on to the next sector. Kappa Seldio. And it is a level three sector veteran. So let us go. Swing the ship round, Captain or Helmsman. 
captain tells said the captain to the helmsman is more correct. Almost ready with that FTL. Yeah, they had to go around a long way to charge that FTL. Ding! And off we go. <laughs> Even after we teleported, it launched. Alright. Welcome to Kappa Celestial, or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, uh, let's see if we can get two sectors done in one part. Now, bear in mind, the ships here will be a little bit larger, so... I might have some... I might have some difficulties, but... Uh, it should not be too bad. Again, I'm gonna start off by... Oh. There we go. Yeah, I'm just gonna start off by going that general direction. Yeah, um... Again, for the same reasons as before, I don't want to get caught in the crossfires of other ships. Alright, I think I'll start off by picking on this ship at the bottom center. Yeah. Alright, so... Yeah, I'm gonna start maneuvering down to meet them. So, what are they? Uh, bear in mind, now that we're taking on slightly bigger ships, uh, the chance of them having scanning systems also increases, which means that our little game where I see them and they don't see us might come to an end, at least for some ships. This is not one of them. Oh god, this ship is garish. Who? Who painted this vessel? I'm gonna blow it up just because of the paint scheme. Oh man, but damn, that is a lot of big guns. Ha! Or actually, yeah, no, those are the big guns. Um, got a whole bunch of it. A berserker. Well, I, I'm certainly going to be seeing red after seeing that. So, let us go in for the... For all that is aesthetically pleasing, let's destroy this vessel at once. And as you can see, we've been leaving a lovely little trail behind us. So, it actually does add a bonus where if they start chasing after us. Ah, they're off cycle again, which is mildly annoying, but whatever. Alright, so, yeah. They're not really moving much, are they? Um, hello? Have you noticed me? Ah, good. You've noticed me. Cool. I'm right here, by the way. Feel free to attack me whenever. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Slowly meandering around. Uh, I noticed that all their engines are backwards facing. Very true to their name. Berserker, they only... They have no retreat. They only attack. So, but like I was saying earlier, because I have my mine launchers perpetually laying mines, now they have a whole cloud of mines to get through. So, um, yeah, good luck with that. This is going to hurt a lot. Well, there goes a lot of the guns on its left side. 
there goes basically the entirety of its left side, along with most of its crew. And there goes most of its guns on the center line. All I need to do is remove that one reactor now. And I should be good to go. Well, now it's got no more guns, so... Might as well close in to finish the job. Oh, yes, it does have a control room. Okay, so it's still actively being piloted, but even if they want to, they cannot retreat. It's They had to turn the whole vessel around and then retreat. So, yeah, uh, they're basically doing that. Like so. Perfect. Alright, so what is next? Um... Right. That should be the last beds. And then, uh, let's see, how much are the engines? 10,000 each. All right, so time to add the big engines. Unfortunately, yeah, I'm going to have to move the whole section back by one. Like so. Connect them up. Make sure they're connected by doorways. And now I'll add the big engines. And I believe that's the engines finished. Yeah. Uh, and I s 8,000 credits left. So not quite enough, but I'm almost done with the vessel in terms of what I need to complete it. So let us move in for this fella. Yeah. I believe the only major system I'm missing is another missile launcher right here facing backwards. Unfortunately, having moved the engines, they all got depowered, but that should be something that could be quickly remedied. And now I have the full crew. Uh, I'm gonna turn this off for a second, let them recharge. That way they're all firing basically at the same time. Not sure if this is something that I can rely on, but it's nice watching them do a salvo fire instead of one at a time. It's more fun watching them. I love how they scatter, like they have this sort of repulsive force on them that makes them fly out in slightly different directions. Rather entertaining to watch. And, uh, yeah. Alright, so let us fast forward a bit and get ourselves to our target. Alright, so what are you? You are, um, Anubis. Okay. Really cool ship, by the way. That is freaking awesome. I love the design of that. But, in terms of functionality, oh, actually, it will hurt. Oh, okay, sorry. I spoke way too soon. 
Uh, this ship actually will be a threat for two reasons. One, it's got radar, and two, it's got electrical bolts. So, you guys are turned off. And actually, uh, I'm going to turn mirror mode on. And bulk up on my armor a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Uh, do, do, do. There we go. Uh, yeah, hopefully having all of this extra armor means that my main driver seat is safe and in fact uh yeah i'm gonna do the same trick as i did before where i'm gonna move it basically to the bottom and move this guy up Yes, script. And I don't think I need the double door there. Perfect. All right, so this should this redesign should be uh, actually I'm going to swap the crew beds. Yeah. That way the batteries are right next to the radar set. All right, so this should be... Oh, right, 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 my... The ship it has no commander. Right, so having the... Having the reactor right there, having all of this extra armor, as well as everything else, should mean that this ship is basically immune to... Yeah, basically immune to the electro bolts. Or not electro bolts, uh, the MP missiles. So... Alright, well... They definitely spotted us. Well, they spotted us a mile away, so. Aha! Uh, -huh. uh, the. We definitely got hit, but as you can see, while we. <clears throat> as you can see, while we took a lot of um, electrical damage, our main important system, our driver, did not lose power. Meanwhile, they're receiving a little bit of a um, little bit of payback in the form of our very happy, very explodey friends. Hmm. To quote Captain Hook, "Do not open until six o'clock." Hmm. Actually, technically, Peter Pan said the line, but... <laughs> Do not open until 6 o'clock. Hmm, wonder what it could be. Unfortunately, they're not taking as much damage as I would have hoped. Oh yeah, it's definitely hitting them a bunch, but... This ship's surprisingly tough, although... 
luckily we got more or less a clear shot to the reactor, so... I'm basically just waiting for a really lucky shot. We are definitely laying down quite the mine trail. And there we go. Yeah, although mildly annoying, uh, we did take a little bit of damage. Alright, you guys can turn back on. And let's see, what what is the damage? 106 there, or 26. Almost 100. Yeah. Alright, so moving along. Let's go after this one. I owe silver away. And yeah, despite it all, our minds still are working in sync, which is pretty awesome. It means that our crew has been able to keep up with their demands this entire time. And you can see some crews meandering, meaning they have nothing to do. Meaning that I have a surplus of crew, which is exactly what I want. Um, so yeah. That was the first ship that... Okay. Actually, earlier ships gave us more trouble, but that's just because my ship was in less prepared of a state. Right now, this ship is basically finished. Um, actually, one one last thing. What is it? Ah. Right. I want a one last mine launcher, and then I believe that is this vessel done. Yeah, just looking around, I'm like. I don't think there's anything I'm missing. I think that's this vessel done and done. So I'm going to save a ship design. The SS Nana Boo Boo. Uh, look at our humble beginnings where we came from. And now we got this monstrosity. All right, so who are we against now? Regret. I guess that's what the designer of the ship was feeling after making it. Look at this, it's a hodgepodge. All right, well, similar to the last vessel, well, similar, they have EMP missiles. But uh, unlike the last vessel, I think, I don't think this has, I don't think this has any, um, any sensor arrays. So, yeah, uh, just like last time, I'll turn those off because I don't need to waste energy trying to keep them maintained. And I'll just simply fly in for the kill. Yeah, one minor annoying thing though is just again at the front here, looks like basically all of this is armor, or at least a lot of this is armor, which means this is going to be a tough nut to crack. It's just going to take a lot of effort. Uh... Oh, I just realized there's no door there. Uh, right. Problem solved. There we go. Uh, now we should see some crew trying to shuffle materials over there, but... Eh, even... I don't know. Part of me is wondering if I should even have this. A 
like the crew seems to be doing a pretty good job of loading that one. That one feels like it'll just use up a lot more crew time than it's actually worth. You know what? I'm gonna go against uh my I'm gonna go against my design here and Oh, too late now, I'm in combat. But yeah, I'm gonna leave this one off and this one on. Because I think, I think having it here and having to cruise shuttle materials across actually takes more time and effort than if they just keep reloading that one. Well, incoming missiles. Yeah, that did a number on our ship in terms of power. But thankfully our crew is like right there so they can quickly and fairly easily just respy and everything. Uh, the other thing is these don't require any power at all, the mine launchers. And that is a thick cloud of mines our friend has to fly through. So, yep, uh, good luck. Good luck with that. They are slowly rebuilding their EMP uh, missiles, but they're going to have a hard time getting through this. Although, eh, I don't know. Annoyingly, they're not very quick. I say annoyingly because, well, like I said, uh, mines tend to hurt more against faster vessels, but still, this is chipping away at them. But yeah, like I said, a ship like this is going to take a bit of a beating to actually destroy. So, but we did a good job of, yeah, we're just going to whittle them down piece by piece. Although, there's a very weak spot right here. If a piece of shrapnel lands, like, right there... We're going to sever this whole arm, which would be kind of awesome. Doesn't look like it's going to happen just yet. Uh, almost, almost. It destroyed that one. Yeah, if either of these go, this whole arm's going to fall off. Uh, they are steadily getting faster as we are taking... Ah, there we go. That arm now fell off. Unfortunately, it's just going to slide in and still be armor. Just in a different spot. Well, that's annoying. Uh, whatever. Yeah, we are taking EMP damage, but yeah, our armor is doing a pretty great job of deflecting that and making them giving them trouble. So, yeah. We're hurting them, and they're not doing that much damage to us. With that said, yeah. They just have a lot of armor on them. <laughs> Taking quite a bit to chip away at them, but we are chipping away at them. Oh, shoot. I just realized we've got company. Uh, thankfully, that one looks like it's oblivious. That one also is oblivious. Okay, um... Right. Time to see how fast my ship can fly. Because I just basically need to get the heck out of here. Okay, seems like they're giving up now. Which is good. So, yeah, let's refocus on this guy as a target. Yeah, something like that.
a mildly annoying parting gift. And also this guy has EMP missiles as well, so I'm just gonna have to leave my shields down. Um, how much damage am I taking? Uh, out of curiosity, what if I attempt to turn the shields on? I'm... How taxing will that be on our crew? Uh, I'll leave the center one off. Okay, definitely, definitely want them on. Um... Ah, I see. That's a problem. Shoot. Well, that's a bit expensive. No, 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 no. Oh, shit. Ah, dang it. Well, I don't remember my last quick save, so. And that is why I don't like getting surrounded. Oh, no. Oops. Well, got to redo that one. Out of curiosity, for the sake of science, let's leave the shield generators on and see what type of damage, like, is it, how bad would it be to play into their hand and just leave the generators on? Um, um, I, okay, so I don't play into the same foolish mistake as last time. I'm gonna just park my ship just outside their detection range. That way... That way, um... I, the idea is I want them to fly uh, up a little, so... Yeah, so we don't repeat the same as last time. And with any luck, they might accidentally fly into the trap we are le leaving for them. Uh, how did they notice me? No, they're not firing the weapon. They haven't spotted me. Like, if I turn this guy off, yeah, they're still well outside vision. They just happen to be coming in my general direction. Well, that makes things interesting. They'll definitely be getting an interesting surprise when they bumble. I suppose they when they bumble head first into my mines, but they conveniently slow down just before that. Well, mostly. Oh dear, well, that makes things interesting. Huh, well, that makes things really interesting. I just took out their EMP launchers. So, that is one significant threat I don't have to worry about anymore. Uh, what if I inch forwards ever so slightly? and target their engine. If I can take out their engines, they'll be dead in the water. Yeah, uh, okay, so their engines are still within missile range. Missile 1 out, missile 2 out, and missile 3 out. Got one of their engines, but I won't get their engine room. If I can get their engine room, I think... 
actually switching targets. If I get that, they'll definitely be out here. Not quite. Damn. But it's not over till the fat lady sings. I can still get it. Um, it just means my missile launching will be less frequent. Next missile is screaming in. Will it hit be on target? Not quite. It took out our EMP factory though. Hey, there we go. That did quite a bit of damage. Alright, I just need, I need a lucky hit on either of these structures. And that was not a very lucky hit. Although, I think, well, I think they're partially dead in the water. They can't maneuver. Hmm. I'm not going to move in. Oh, wow. That is a lot of batteries. Oh, is this? Oh, I think. Yeah, no, I think that's a battery bank uh, right there. So, yeah, that uh, EMP just took out the battery bank, and so the crew had to re reload it. Okay, so that is the engine room down. Um, I'm not going to maneuver until I get the captain's chair. But then once I do, this ship will be very easy pickings. Oh, almost, almost, one more sh shot. And... Oh, did I not shoot? Ah, here it comes. Bang! Alright. Sweet. Now I can come in and finish the job. Oh, that's too fast. Oh no, they shattered. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh well. Net set of mines out. Yeah, I'm a little bit too close. Oh well. Target destroyed. That, yeah, that was way easier. Alright, let's not beat around the bush. Let's just go straight for it. No time to lose. All right, so who do we have now? Well, I mean, it's the same two ships, but which one should I go? Oh, a second regret. Uh, I guess I never realized it was a second of the same ship. Although I kind of like the other one's pink color, but yeah. And then double iron f ion frigate. And yeah, none of these have sensor rays, so I don't have to worry about being spotted. I do have to worry about zooming into melee range.
All right, so let's do this as an honest test. Do they not see me? Ah, now they see me. Because I remember last time this was a faster of the two targets, I'm going to keep my focus on that. Uh, unfortunately the uh, EMP missiles are out. So this is going to hurt. Yeah, it stung a little. That stings a lot. That stings like a whole lot. Well, I did take them out in the process, so tit for tat, but ooh, uh, could 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 we get someone on a fire extinguisher? Put that out, please. That that's like. That's really on fire right now. Could, could we, like, please put that out? That's really... Nope. Well, at least... At least I had a quick save. So, yeah. Um... Hmm. This design might need to go on a bit of a diet. Uh, I might be overcompensating with the armor. Yeah, what if I did that? And in fact, if I really want to do weight saving, I can make that into frame. All right, so. Yeah, that should mean uh, my vessel is a bit faster now. So hopefully... And yeah, quite frankly, I don't even need this. Yeah. Um... All right, so that should mean my vessel's a bit lighter now. Um, check here if you want, but I don't remember what my weight was before and after. Now, hopefully, we'll, yeah, we'll put this to the test, see how it fares against the, um... EMP missiles. But yeah, I need to keep a very close eye on this vessel. Because it is a speedy boy. Yeah, those are a lot of engines. Those are a lot of engines. Wow. Well, I took down one of it, so... Um... Hey, there we go. Yeah, it did damage to me, so I didn't get out of that fight completely unscathed. But, yeah, that was, that was a nasty one-two punch right there. Uh, the... This guy's really quick. So yeah, the the other guy has the EMP missiles, which take out my shields. And then this guy's really quick to capitalize on it and can get into close range and just devastate me. 
So while I'm here, let us as a bit of a pricey repair bill, but I've seen worse. Uh, the main element is it completely destroyed the shield generator. These other elements... Okay, that was kind of damaged as well, but... Yeah. Oh, uh, no, not the junk. Um, you. And funny enough, everything is still in sync. Nice. Okay, so yeah, uh, I'm actually gonna quick save after that fight. That was quite the ordeal. But thankfully, we did manage to get through it. So... You know what? Here's to a decently designed ship. <laughs> All right, so moving along, let's speed up time a bit until we get into range of our next target. All right, so this time I'll deal with the ship quote unquote legitimately. I'm not gonna do that sneaky tactic of stabbing it in the back from long range. I'm gonna just Face hug. Well, not face hug it, but I will. I'll at least have the common decency to let them know that I am here. You know, give them a fair chance. At least let them see their demise. Wait. Why did I not come in after me? Come after me. Come on. Your doom is waiting. You're. I, I'm I'm your I'm your demiser. I'm your reaper. Come on. Um, I I got a busy schedule. I got plenty of other ships to disintegrate. I can't wait for you to dolly around all day. I I need you to come at me. So, okay. I mean, I could come at you, but you might punch back. So, um, my siren song is over here. Yeah, just listen to the sweet, soothing sound of my obnoxiously whiny voice. Well, looks like they got the message. And it also seems like we do a pretty good job of reloading the shields, so... Yeah, uh, what's the damage? Um... Only, only a little bit of damage on that center shield. Meanwhile, they're slowly, and I do mean slowly, creeping in. This is where things eventually happen. Oh, we we did a lot of damage to that uh, EMP launcher. Unfortunately, not enough to outright destroy it, which, you know, sucks, but, uh, you know, I'll take what I can get. And yeah, we're just going to be whittling them away bit by bit from the front. All the while, they're going to be trying to take out our shields. So, it's a battle against armor. My shields against their actual armor. They also do have some shield generators right here. So, yeah. Like I said, the more damage they take, the faster they travel, which works to my advantage. And all I need to do is pop this core here. Uh, the other interesting thing, an interesting mechanic for balancing purposes is normally most parts in the game, most standard parts, the amount of health points they have is proportional to their size. So a standard 1x1 one one hallway has only a thousand health points. I say only a thousand, a thousand still a lot, but um, yeah, a thousand health points. 
whereas something like um, bedrooms has 4,000 because it's a two by two area. And so, you know, that makes sense. Um, and so, yeah, the bigger the room is, the more proportionally, the more health it has. There are, of course, exceptions like armor is, I think it's 4,000 per tile. So it's a four times increase, I think. Um, let me double check on that. But uh, actually, I can double check right here. No, that's corridor. Yeah. Um, here's armor. Yeah, 4,000, whereas corridor is 1,000. But, but the reactors, the, despite it being a medium reactor, which is nine tiles, it's only got 4,000 HP. And same goes for the huge reactors as well. That despite them being a 16, 4 by 4 they only have 4,000 HP. So, did I, wait, hang on. What did I just bump into? <laughs> I just bumped into the corpse of the other uh, regret. Oops. Although that, that massively killed my speed. Oh no, oh no. Uh, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Ooh, that, that stings. Neek, come on. Ah, phew. Okay, that... That hurt. Thankfully, it is also hurting them a lot as well. Uh, did I break off a limb? I might have broken off. I might have just eroded away. It might have just been completely scrap, uh, bit by bit. Uh, I am getting awfully close to the core now, which is their juicy heart. Say hi to your dead friend. That'll be you in a moment. Okay, you'll be less than that. That is that is a merciful death. You you took it the hard way. You... All right. So yeah, just a little bit more to go. One good mine hit to the core should do it, but. Well, that's relying on being lucky. Uh, the, I guess to their advantage, they have the shield generators like right next to their core, so their generators can be recharged relatively quickly. Uh, the other thing, interesting thing is the larger reactors, they're, they give the crews a double battery. So instead of carrying around as, like for example, you see here, it's like a double battery. And so it recharges two battery slots, but the crew only has to carry one of them. So the crew only has to make half as many trips from the reactor to whatever the powering, which is another like huge benefit for having these big reactors. But like I said, the big reactors are proportionally more vulnerable because they have less health points. Although, these EMPs are becoming mildly annoying. Will you stop that? Hmm. Looks like they're drifting off course. Ah, there we go. Gotcha. And, ah, finally broke the cycle. Alright, uh, so that's this sector done so what's the damage look like 2000 uh not too much was broken but yeah that was dangerously close so let's just repair all all right so right this ship is now complete so i'm gonna save ship design and Plot a course to the next sector. Now again, I'm gonna save those for later. Well, I mean my ship is complete, but you know what? Hmm. What are you? Uh, yeah. All 
All right, so I don't feel like fighting. Yeah, I don't feel like fighting a uh, level four just yet. So who is closer? You are 61. You're only 53. You're 59. Right. Yeah, we got plenty. Uh, even if I want to go to the opposite side, that's only 71 FTL fuel. I can do that, like, over tw uh Yeah, like, I can do that, like, 20 times, more than 20 times, like, closer to 25, 30 times, like. So, yeah. Um... You know what? Let's go to the sun. Shall we? Kappa Iteridium. Iterum. Let us see what is awaiting us here. Charger it, boys. Ding. And here we go. Welcome to the sun. All right. Uh, one other quick thing to note, uh, I don't think it was a big issue until now, but while most of your ship maintains whatever state it was in between jumps, the one thing that you lose between jumps is shields. Shields get destroyed after doing a, a hyperspace jump, and so or an FTL jump, and so they have to be manually recharged after every single jump. Not a huge problem, I've only got three of them, but uh, a few times, just for fun, I enable a cheat which gives me infinite money, and I spawn in a Terror, the largest ship in the game, and it's bristling with shield generators, and watching the crew have to scramble to recharge all of them after every single jump, very entertaining. But anyway, um, I'll leave you guys here, staring at the sun potentially going blind. Ah, it looks like I'm fighting a whole crowd of ships this time. Only one single ship. Uh, everything else being pairs of ships. So, yeah, we'll deal with that next time. Anyway, you take care, folks. Have a great one. And remember, put on your sunscreen. Bye!